When it comes to wearable electronics, there is no one-size-fits-all. Fitness trackers, cameras, gadgets to monitor your heart rate, and tracking devices using GPS. Only a sample of a bewildering range of options. So how do you choose? We asked one of Hong Kong's top experts on the sidelines of one of the HKTDC's twice yearly electronics fairs. Leo Chan runs a company which distributes many of these new devices. He says the key is to make sure you think about function as well as fit. I think you need to choose things that you think you're going to wear it for a long period of time. Uh, they mentioned that uh, in order to form a habit, you need to have you need to wear something for at least 21 days. If you're wearing something that you feel comfortable with and then that it is socially acceptable and you form a habit and then you can wear it for a long time. So this is uh, uh, something very interesting I found. It's a smartwatch, um, but it has a special function. I was just talking with the, the guys here and uh, this seems to be a, um, something that you may want to get for the elderly parents because they sometimes will get lost in, in, in the streets I was very intrigued that they mentioned that uh, it not only uses GPS but uses a, a Wi-Fi uh, inside uh, positioning system. It is wearable, has a, a special purpose and it solves a social problem so I think that is very good. So this one, I, uh, they told me that it, it is a, uh, similar to the Google Glass but it has, uh, seems to have a more advanced feature. I think you can wear them if you want to do some video or photo capturing hands-free, I think that's good because they will have like uh, your own uh, uh, user's perspective of what they're looking at. So I think that's an important part. And also it has a display where you can see some information, uh, where it is notifications or they claim that you can also make calls using the glass. So connect with your phone. This is the health plus smartwatch category, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This one is for the uh, sports uh, health fitness category. Um, so obviously this is a very recognizable brand for the sports industry. And I think they, um, they're also trying to adopt to the new wearable trends to make the product smarter and making it as a smartwatch. Yeah. So they're also doing a, a health band as well for people that may not want to wear a watch but then they want to uh, just track the daily activity uh, but not as a professional or they don't need as detailed information as a, as a sport watch. So if I'm trying to choose a you know like a wearable product for that's me, right, that's what right. are the questions I have to ask myself? Well first, the, uh, do you want a watch or do you want a band? <laughs> so, and then uh, how accurate do you want your capture data? For example, uh, if I'm swimming, I, I definitely want to have something that has a built-in GPS so that I can see the, uh, the route where I'm swimming later on. Uh, and also, uh, when I'm biking, I can see exactly where that I go. I see a lot of uh, interesting companies. And I think the important role is to be creative and also to be original. Some products uh, look very similar to others, uh, which is not as original. Uh, I think to really look at what application people will use, specifically for that region they're going to sell to, I think that's important. And the key word is personal, because this is a personal device. You, you have different experience, you have different applications. I think the key is not to look similar to others, but to have your original uh, application.